have you had that moment where you realize everyone is using some word and you have no idea what that means, but you're too afraid to ask at this point? What even is machine learning? Well, it's an approach to making lots of small decisions with data, something involving algorithmically finding patterns in data. But let me just put it bluntly so that we can all get it. It's a thing labeler, essentially. That's what machine learning is. It's just a thing labeler. So why on earth should you be excited about thing labeling? Well, here's my pet Huxley. And you've just taken in some pretty complicated data through your senses, and you just know that that's a cat. And if I show you a different image, you're not fooled. You still know that that label is cat. Your brain just does this. You don't even know how your brain does it. Now, if we wanted to get a computer to perform this labeling task for us, if we went the traditional way, you know this, programmers, we would communicate with the universe in some way, think really deeply about the problem, and come up with a model. It's a model. It's just a recipe. It's a set of instructions that the computer has to follow to get from the image to the label. And we would have to handcraft that. Now, think about what this recipe would have to be for the computer to correctly detect that there's a cat in an image. I mean, think about what you, your brain, actually did with those pixels. Can you express that? Do you know what your brain is doing? Or have you just had the benefit of eons of evolution and it just kind of figures it out for you? Now, that recipe is really hard to handcraft. Wouldn't it be better if you could just say to the machine, here, look at a bunch of examples of cats, look at a bunch of examples of not cats, and just figure it out yourself? That is what machine learning is all about. It is a completely different programming paradigm. Now, instead of giving explicit instructions, you program with examples, with data, and let that machine learning algorithm figure it out and stitch that code that goes in between for you. So why should you actually be excited by this thing labeling? Well, engineers, you know we like to get computers to do stuff for us. And there's a whole class of tasks where we just cannot express the instructions. They're ineffable. AI and machine learning are about automating the ineffable. This is a fundamental leap in human progress. Now you can get computers to do tasks where you cannot possibly express the instructions. This is so exciting and seems futuristic and difficult, right? And when you think about machine learning, the one thing I most want you to think about is microwaves. Who here in the audience knows how a microwave oven works well enough to build a new one from scratch? Raise hands. Who can build a new one? Do I see any takers? Any takers? No hands? Yeah, me neither. Who here has never used one to reheat food? You all have. Even though you have no idea how it works, you're still happy to use one, right? And anyone here feel like you would have no idea how to get hold of one, I don't know, like maybe at Kohl's, if you needed one? Now, you just told me you have no idea how it works. So how could you possibly trust this microwave? Well, you're not going to trust it by reading the wiring diagram, are you? You're going to trust it by checking that it actually does work, by having a good idea of what you want it to do for you, and then tasting what comes out on the other side. And that is exactly what you'll do with machine learning. I mean, this is a perfect analogy for machine learning. Now, what they don't tell you about machine learning, when we use that term, it's actually two machine learnings, not one. Two completely different disciplines that are as different as building microwaves from scratch and innovating in the kitchen. And you need completely different skill sets for these. If you want to be a machine learning researcher, you are building general purpose tools for other people to use. 
And so the bad news there is that there is quite a lot of education that you need to get. It takes a little while to ramp up, because how on earth are you going to build a better microwave than the one that exists already? There's some pretty sophisticated stuff out there if you have no idea how the current one works. So that's the bad news. It takes a long time to become a machine learning researcher. The good news, though, is if that is your cup of tea, um, we at Google have a large machine learning research shop where we make these tools for you that are all powered by open source. So we give you those wiring diagrams as a springboard so that you can go and build a better microwave than what we have using our blueprints. And TensorFlow, a really popular machine learning project, started at Google before we open sourced it because we believe that the community as a whole is so much more innovative than just any one of us alone. But let's face it. Most of you are not here to build general purpose microwaves. You just want to get cooking already, right? You just want to use these things to solve business problems. And so you are in the completely other discipline, applied machine learning. Now for that, you do not need a PhD. You don't need to know how backpropagation works in neural networks any more than a chef needs to know how a microwave is wired. Instead, what you need is a really good kitchen to play in. And we at Google provide that for you. Let me show you some of the things that we have. And what you're going to need kind of depends on what you're cooking. If you're cooking with usual ingredients, data, and you're making usual dishes, labels, predictions, so say you're making pizza, please don't go reinvent the concept of pizza from scratch. There's already recipes out there. And you can just grab those recipes and start making pizza. And that is what our cloud APIs are all about. These are recipes that we've already built that you can just pick up and start using. You can just plug them into your apps to make those intelligent applications. But say you're cooking with a little twist. Now it's gluten-free vegan pizza. Well, you still don't need to stay. You still don't need to start entirely from scratch. It's still pizza. You can just adjust what already exists out there. And so what we suggest for you here is try Cloud Auto ML. Sure, maybe we haven't uh, trained our vision system on the clothing type that your or Cole's customers are wearing. But no problem. Just feed in your images with your labels into Cloud AutoML, and you'll be good to go. No small adjustment necessary. Now, say you're truly innovating. You have your own completely unique ingredients. You're doing something pretty different in the kitchen. I don't know. Maybe now you're making an edible sock that tastes like pizza. Well, machine learning and innovation are in Google's core DNA. In fact, I can't think of a single one of our consumer products that doesn't have machine learning in it somewhere. And so if you are innovating in the kitchen, if you're building truly new recipes, what we have for you is a cloud machine learning engine. This is access to exactly the same infrastructure that Google uses to train our models. Incredible. So you could, if you wanted to, after the session, grab a laptop, open it up, and test drive our shiny, gleaming kitchen with all those appliances ready to go. You could feel the thrill of a, a data center and all those cutting edge algorithms rising up to do your bidding. So solving business problems with machine learning, applied machine learning, is far easier than what most people think. What you don't realize is that all those courses in university, those are all about how to build the microwave, not how to just use it to get cooking. And when I hear people say, oh, I couldn't possibly get started with machine learning until I take a course in it, or, goodness, a whole degree, I can't help but imagine that same person saying, I couldn't possibly use a microwave until I've built one myself. 
you can just get cooking. It's not the lack of degree or course or knowledge that's holding you back. What's much, much more important than that, what you need to get started, is creativity. Figure out what you're going to cook, because all those tools are already there waiting for you to use them. Imagine gleaming kitchens just waiting for you to come play in them. But since this is a thing labeler, you need to start by thinking, what on earth do you want labeled? And see how creative you can get with that. You might imagine the label being maybe the waveform that sounds like a voice that could make a hairdresser's appointment for you. Or you could imagine a few other cases, like maybe you are a loving son, and your aging parents sort vegetables by hand, and you want to save them the trouble of having to do that on their farm. So maybe you're thinking about building a system that'll label the vegetables and sort it automatically so your parents don't have to do it. Or maybe you're worried about the ingredients that go into baby food, and you think it would be great if you could automatically check whether the ingredient is safe or spoiled before it goes in. Or maybe you're into the idea of a huge bank with trillions of dollars in assets countering fraud and money laundering automatically across millions of accounts. If you imagined that world, you imagined this world. Well, these are all real examples of things that have been done on Google Cloud Platform. The first is a real family of cucumber farmers. The second is a Japanese manufacturer of high-quality baby food products, Qpi. And the third is HSBC, who uses Google Cloud to run a better business and catch the bad guys across 27 million customers. Pretty different chefs, completely different applications. Why is Google Cloud Platform the right choice for all of them? Well, think about what you might want in a kitchen. You'd want good engineering, so you probably want to think about getting a partner whose quality you trust. But think more long term than that. If you believe in your own infinite creativity, if you believe in the future, you would be crazy to let yourself get locked into a kitchen where the purveyor sets it up one time for you and then controls what you can and can't have in there. And every appliance has its own proprietary little socket that you are not allowed to tamper with. And if your business changes, then you have to rebuild and rewire the whole thing. Imagine instead the dream kitchen that becomes what you need it to be instantly complete universal wiring, open interfaces, the best of everything, all the modern appliances, always available. And you can plug them in with no fuss, because that wiring is universal. That, my friends, is the power of open source. And that is what Google and Red Hat together believe in. We don't want to see your creativity squashed by what seemed like a good idea yesterday. So we have built for you an incredible, future-proof machine learning kitchen. This kitchen can expand, contract as you need it. You can plug in whatever you like. All the most modern appliances are there and compatible as you need them, fully customizable. Because none of us can tell what innovations the future will bring. And we don't want you to have to bet on the direction of progress and lock yourselves in. We want you to be free to be as creative as all of us can be together. So I hope that you're excited to dive in. This machine learning kitchen is there, ready, waiting for you to get started, start playing in it. Your machine learning adventure awaits. Thanks so much.